now we have to do what are the types of vertices so first we will do what is a isolated vertex a vertex in in a graph g is called isolated if its degree is zero what is degree the degree of any vertex is given as the number of edges that is incident to that vertex so what would be an isolated vertex which would have no edge connected to it so a simple only a vertex can be known as uh, isolated vertex which has no edges connected to it so v1 is an example of isolated vertex what is a pendant vertex a vertex in a graph g is called a pendant vertex if its degree is 1 us a vertex is said to be pendant if there is only one edge connected to it see in v1 and v2 only one edge that is even exists between them and see v1 only even is connected to it or incident to it and see v2 only even is incident to it so both v1 and v2 are pendant vertices or pendant vertex similarly pendant edge an edge which is incident with the pendant vertex is called a pendant edge here v1 and v2 are pendant vertex and even which is incident on it is known as the pendant edge to so pendant edge kya hota hai agar koi edge jo incident ho koi pendant vertex ke upar use hum log pendant edge kehte hain theek hai now we would be doing what are the types of graph so the first type of graph is a null graph a graph is g is called a null graph if it has no edge for the null graph all the vertex are isolated vertex suppose we are given a graph which is v1 v2 v3 see there is no edge existing between either of the vertex and all of these vertex are isolated vertex as there is no edge connecting or incident on them so this is a null graph a simple graph a graph having no loops or no parallel edges is called a simple graph what is a multigraph a graph g is having no self loops but containing parallel edges is called a multigraph ठीक है एक सिंपल ग्राफ क्या होता है जब किसी ग्राफ में ना ही हमारे पास सेल्फ लूप हो और ना ही पैरल एजेस हो तब उसको हम लोग सिंपल ग्राफ कहते हैं और मल्टीग्राफ किसे कहते हैं जब उस ग्राफ में सेल्फ लूप ना हो बट पैरल एजेस प्रेजेंट हो बट इट कंटेन्स पैरल एजेस इट इज कॉल्ड अ मल्टीग्राफ सीडोग्राफ अ ग्राफ हैविंग बोथ सेल्फ लूप एंड पैरल एजेस is called a pseudograph this graph mein self loop aur parallel edges dono present ho use hum log pseudograph kehte hain so what would be a simple graph example suppose we are given three vertices v1 v2 and v3 and there exists an edge bit even between v1 and v2 and there exists an edge e2 between v2 and v3 since there is no parallel edges and no self loop present in this graph this is a example of a simple graph okay what would be a multi graph suppose we are again given three sets of vertices v1 v2 and v3 and there exists an even between v1 and v2 and there exists an e2 between v1 and v3 but in addition to that there exists also an edge e3 between v2 v1 and v3 so uh, e2 and e3 have the same ending points so v1 and v3 e2 and e3 would be parallel edges since this graph set graph contains parallel edges but no self loops it is known as a multigraph
Similarly, if we are given again three sets of vertices v1, v2 and v3, there exists an edge e1 between v1 and v2, there exists an edge e2 between v1 and v3, in addition to it there exists an edge e3 between v1 and v3 and also there is a self loop e4 for v2. So this graph contains parallel edges as well as self loop. So this is a pseudo graph. Complete graph. In a simple graph, if there exists an edge between every distinct vertex, in between every distinct vertices, it is said to be a complete graph. For example, we are given three vertices v1, v2 and v3. So all of these vertices have to be connected with each other with an edge. That is, there has to exist an edge between every distinct vertex vertices that is v1, v2 and v3 then it is a complete graph. So there has to be an edge, e, there is an edge e1 between v1 and v2, there is an edge e2 between v2 and v3, there is an edge e3 between v1 and v3. So each and every vertices have an edge between them. This is a complete graph. What is a regular graph? A graph is said to be regular if the degree of all the vertex are same. And if the degree of all the vertex is k, then it is called as k degree vertex graph. Suppose we are given a graph which has two vertices v1 and v2 and there exists an edge even between both of them. So this is known as this in this both the vertex have a degree of 1. So this satisfies the condition of a regular graph that is all the vertex must have the same degree. So here all the vertex have a degree 1 and this is a regular graph. Similarly we are given three vertices v1, v2 and v3 and each of them are connected with edges e1, e2 and e3 respectively. See, each v1 has a degree of 2, v2 has a degree of 2, v3 also has a degree of 2. So, in all these vertices, they have a common degree of 2 and therefore it also satisfies the condition of a regular graph. We must always remember this note. Every complete graph is regular. As you can see in the first example, v1 and v2 are the two vertices and vertices and there is an edge connecting them. Similarly in degree 2, v1, v2 and v3 are the three vertices and there is an edge connecting each and every one of them. So every complete graph is regular. This might not be true for the vice versa case. Now we would be giving an example of a bipartite graph. So bipartite graph. Suppose we are given a set of vertices V is equal to V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Okay. Suppose X1 is a subset containing V1 and V3. So X1 is a subset containing V1 and V3 vertices. And X2 is a subset containing V2, V4 and V5, uh, V5 vertices. Okay. So now what we would do, we would plot the bipartite graph. So suppose the graph is as follows, v1, v2, these are v1, v3, these are the vertices of subset 1, x1, 
and v2 v4 and v5 these are the vertices of subset x2 this is x1 and this is of x2 so we are given a graph as follows so the vertices of x1 subset and the vertices of x2 subset are connected with edges x1 and x2 subset are such that each edge that is e1 e2 e3 e4 even is connecting the vertex 1 with vertex 2 that is x1 subset with x2 subset and each of these edges similarly are connecting one vertex from the subset x1 and another vertex from the subset x2 so a graph a graph g is said to be bipartite if its vertex set is partitioned into two non-empty sets in this case it is x1 and x2